Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told. Tarot, this is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be from, from now to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Scorpio. Let's pull your oracle card and see what we get. So message for Scorpio, please. In love, romance, relationships, May 2021, please. What do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please? Oh, okay card is there oh finding peace okay message for scorpio please angels spirits guides message for scorpio in love romance relationships only may 2021 so i'm going to pull three cards scorpio and then we'll clarify go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates for you. Okay, card is turned over. There you are, King of Cups, male or female energy, but that is Scorpio for me as a reader. In the challenge position, we have the Temperance card, card of Sagittarius. And the Death card. So advice from spirit and um, outcome. Okay. Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Scorpio, thank you. May 2021. So I have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords here. In the challenge position... Uh, advice from spirit we have the three of coins with temperance and the death card we have with the wheel of fortune bottom of the deck yeah i was feeling this the strength card card of leo interestingly enough temperance comes after the death card in the major arcana we have 13 and 14 <laughs> so it feels in this situation there are some kind of like um and these are big energies, you know, the major arcana are the big influences. So it feels like some kind of progress here or step change that you'll be feeling. So Scorpio, we have the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I like the Five of Swords in the challenge position in the sense that you're releasing from it. You know, the, the Five of Swords is a card of negative thinking, conflict, arguments, um disputes bad feeling resentment you know this levels to this card but there's definitely an energy with the ace of swords which can be a card of uh new beginnings it's a card of victory and it's where certainly you are focusing or have the opportunity now to focus on a new beginning and cut cords with whatever this five of swords was and and make decisions and choices about your future, about moving towards a new beginning. It feels in this energy, you know, this is a victory uh, over some kind of negativity that you're ready to release from now. Because, you know, this is you, male or female energy. And I like the fact that you're appearing so heavily in your reading. We've got the death card, which is also you. So you are the phoenix rising. I mean, you are the phoenix rising this month. Because the, the king of swords is somebody who masters his suit. He masters the emotional situation. He masters his emotions. And he rises above emotional situations you know and if it, it feels like that has been a challenge here but there is an opportunity to claim that victory over what has been a, a period of conflict negative feeling resentment arguments call it what you will and it feels to do with love romance relationships so it definitely feels like you're rising above a situation and bringing emotional stability back into your life where there could have been instability in some way shape or form you could have felt down something that could have could have made you feel down here Scorpio it feels like there is the epiphany the focus I'm ready to cut the cords with the past 
because the the advice from spirit is about finding balance again and we find balance you know this is about also how you find your flow you find you move cautiously forward you find the way through what has been an extreme situation you see sometimes fire and water in, in both of the in, in one of each of these cups and it's extreme elements you know which can represent pol polarized um emotional situations and temperance just finds the way through the middle you know it's a card of just just steering your ship through the middle of what has been in a difficult situation and just finding balance finding your flow again um and understanding you know i mean this is also about blending of ingredients so there's definitely an en energy of of the lessons that you've learned has allowed you to recalibrate of what's important to you now what blend of life ingredients you're looking for going forward you know um, and it's everything that you've learned about the experience that you've been through because the three of, of coins is a card of rebuilding so i definitely feel you know manifesting a new path i mean it's very good in terms of money and career the beginnings of success um, it, you might be moving home doing up a home a property but it feels like you're ready for the new here and the new is coming your way the message is don't dwell don't be pulled into arguments don't I, I i just feel this energy with the five of swords it's a disruptive energy you know that that can cloud this the ace of swords so don't be pulled into what's gone you know there's definitely an energy with see past this you need to see past this five of swords whatever this conflict in situation was negative thinking negative attitudes or feelings because there's an opportunity to really build, get on solid ground, build your life up again and, you know, feel pretty good about it and in your element, you know. It has taken a lot of strength, you know. This is when we face our fears, you know, the strength card, face our fears, face adversity. But there's definitely an energy of something it feels you're going through a process of something ending or something has ended and you're ready to rebuild. Certainly with the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, it feels this has already been happening from previous month or two, maybe more. And the Death card is a card of transformation. Essentially, it's where you are ready to emerge from one phase of your life to another and shed an old skin. It is the Phoenix Rising card where the Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to herald in the new. It sheds an old skin. So there's a wonderful energy here of liberation, transformation, metamorphosis, from some kind of significant ending that you're experiencing but the message with the wheel of fortune is everything happens for a reason and the wheel of fortune is about life cycles so as one door closes another one is about to open for you this is about having the strength the courage to face and to face adversity to face the ending or whatever this has been and to be in your power to bring positive change now to your life because the wheel of fortune is about things are about to look up for you you know the it's it's a card of luck it's a card of good fortune good luck expansion growth prosperity opportunity things opening up for you so and it's divine timing things happening when they're meant to happen for some of you, there could be an element of coincidence this month, Scorpio. There could be an element of coincidence is happening without your knowledge, and that could be that Wheel of Fortune energy. Luck is on your side as well. Lucky coincidences. Um, there's definitely an energy of a cycle is ending, but a new one is about to begin. And it feels destiny. You know, this is a card of destiny. You're exactly where you need to be. So don't let any fear or doubt or any negativity cloud you from focusing on rebuilding this because there is definitely an opportunity to get balance back in your life and begin to find solid ground and maybe build something new in your life you know it feels very beautiful 
so let's get some more advice this is be at peace with it i like that energy of yeah make your peace with it and allow yourself to move on four of pentacles So we're going from the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles, which can be about self-protection, self-preservation. Interestingly enough, that Knight of Coins with the Four of Wands is... I mean, the Knight of Coins can be a card of getting back on track. Um, It feels in this situation, I mean, that the Knight of Coins can be an offer, somebody making you an offer. And this is the happy home, uh, celebration, committed relationships. Let's clarify that Knight of Coins. What's that Knight of Coins, please? Okay, so, oh. It feels all is not lost here. You know, the Six of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles, taking stock of memories, nostalgia, the history you have with somebody. It feels like there's a homecoming. Someone doesn't want to let go. Interesting, there's an ending here, but somebody doesn't want to let go. There's definitely an energy here, Scorpio, of rebuilding something in your life. And it might well be for a period of time you've been rebuilding your life, but somebody from the past who you have, who you have history with it feels he's coming back into your life and there's an opportunity to get back on track and it feels to do with a relationship you know celebration um, it feels to do with i'm getting the energy of they don't want to let go this is hanging on you know this is a card of hanging on holding on and again the four of wands which is the happy home card uh, celebration joy uh, can be homecoming it feels like somebody wants you back can you make peace with it? That is the question. What is this Four of Wands, please? What is this Four of Wands? What is this Four of Wands? Yeah, it's going to present you with a choice. <laughs> it's going to present you with a choice between two paths because it feels like you've been adapting to rebuild your life here, Scorpio. But somebody doesn't want to let go. Either you don't want to let go or they don't want to let go of you. And it feels that there is an opportunity from somebody in the past that you have considerable history with, um, and memories with, and nostalgia with, to get back on track. So there's a feeling here, Scorpio, of wanting to wipe the slate clean. Somebody wants to wipe the slate clean. And you do have some choice to make. You know, the Two of Swords again is, is weighing something up. It feels for some, and again, I'm getting that with the Two of Pentacles juggling it. You know, weighing something up. Which direction am I going to go in? How do I see my life opening up? You know? Um... It definitely feels in this energy somebody's coming back, which is an interesting one. So there's definitely an energy if somebody wants to wipe the slate clean, make peace, rebuild, move forward, want you back. Yeah, put a difficult challenge behind you. And, you know, there's a six of wands, putting a difficult challenge behind you, claiming a victory, a success an achievement over a, a difficult challenge um, and putting it behind you once for all.
Scorpio, it, it feels in this situation, um, I mean, the death card can be a card of endings, but like I said, it's, it can be about emerging from one phase to another. So there's definitely this energy of catharsis, purification, cleansing going on with the death card. And it might well be for some of you, you might have ended a relationship. I mean, you might have broken up temporarily here, but it feels like there's an opportunity to reconcile, make peace, get back on track. Somebody doesn't want to let go. And you are weighing up your options. It feels to do, you're, you're just weighing it up in terms of which way you want to go. Uh, because somebody wants you home again. Yeah, interesting. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Scorpio, yeah. You see, we see we've got peacock, self-love, time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. Lovely energy there. Uh, but self-love most definitely. And we have wolf heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. It feels like you'll you'll be presented with some choice to make here, Scorpio. Um it's interesting because it feels like there was been some significant ending here but someone is coming back to you wanting to purge the past and wants you back home. I'm definitely getting that energy of homecoming and you have some choice or decision to make because it feels in this situation, I mean, yes, this, this energy can be about rebuilding a relationship, making peace, reconciling, but it feels that here you have some choice to make at the end of this reading. So I'm definitely getting this energy of you might have moved into a property you might have been rebuilding your life um you might have been taking action towards that new path that new beginning and getting back on track and that's definitely what i was feeling but it feels like somebody is coming back offering you something they want you home again and to put the challenge overcome the challenge and put it behind you uh, because they haven't quite let go now, yes, this, this could work for you as well. You the other way around, vice versa. But it feels this is the energy of self-love and the choice has to be in terms of what is going to serve your best interests and what isn't going to serve your best interests now. Because for some of you, you have learnt lessons from the experience that you've been through. So there's definitely an energy of giving some thought to what that experience has taught you in guiding you towards making some kind of decision or choice. Powerful energy, Scorpio. But there is definitely the Four of Wands, which is the happy home, getting back on track, you know. Um, moving back home, maybe for some of you. Uh, trying again with a relationship or certainly having one opportunity to deal with that. Feels like there's two paths available for you. So that is your reading, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.